Good morning, and I take this opportunity to welcome you to come to the water. A life-giving, life-changing ministry of evangelization, bringing the good news of the gospel to everyone whom has an ear to hear and a heart to receive, and I hope that this is you and I this morning. For this is the day that the Lord has made, and what are we going to do? We are going to rejoice, and we are going to be glad, amen? For the joy of the Lord is truly our strength this morning. Thank you so much for allowing me to come into your home one more Sunday, where we can praise the Lord, we can magnify His name, we can glorify His name, we can bless Him. We can lift up the name of Jesus. No other name but the name of Jesus. At the mention of the name of Jesus, one day every knee is going to have to bow and every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God. And I tell you what, I'm so happy that over 30 years ago, I came to my senses, hallelujah, by the drawing of the Holy Spirit and responded to that drawing of the Holy Spirit to come and ask Jesus to adopt me into his Father's kingdom, to come and ask Jesus to give me the grace and the strength and the courage that I need in order to be able to belong to God the Father, not understanding everything, and we never will. But I tell you what, I had enough understanding to know that I was a sinner, still a sinner, but a saved sinner right now. I was a sinner on my way to a place of no return. But I'm so glad that Jesus delayed his return for me. And today I can say that I'm truly a born again believer. I've been baptized in the Holy Spirit. I've been given power for living. And I tell you what, I want to pass on to you what little I know, hallelujah, <laughs> so that you and I can come together and be on the right track and continue down the right track to everlasting life, to eternity, amen? And I tell you what, uh, Jesus is Lord of my life. And uh, like I said, he's not asking you and I to understand everything, but to believe, to receive, to live. And I tell you what, on the end of that journey, oh, I tell you what, there is going to be a reconciliation. There is going to be a, a togetherness over there in heaven like never before. So I get excited every time I think about my salvation what Jesus has done for me on the cross of Calvary.
And every first Sunday of the month, I come and I invite you, the watching audience, that if you don't know Jesus in the pardoning of your sins, that you do not allow that this Sunday, this ministry would end and you did not call upon the name of Jesus. For the Word of God say, everyone who calls upon him shall be saved. Amen. Oh, I tell you what, this is truly the day that the Lord has made. Let us, you and I, come together in prayer, bringing our prayers and our petitions in thanksgiving before God the Father, in the name of Jesus and by the power of the Holy Spirit, believing that God is the rewarder of those who diligently seek Him, believing that God hears prayers, and believing that God hears prayers, and God also answers prayers. Amen? Maybe not what you and I are thinking in the way that you and I would like for it to happen, but make no mistake about it, the wise God, the, the wisdom of God, the God that we serve knows what's best for you and knows what's best for me. So let us go to the Father in prayer. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Heavenly Father, we come before you in the mighty name of Jesus. No other name to come but in the name of Jesus. And we come this morning with thanksgiving in our hearts. Thank you for waking us up this morning, all clothed in our right minds. Thank you, Lord God, that as we slept last night and did not know nothing, you had your holy angels in charge watching over us, Lord, keeping us from all evil, all harm, and all danger. And for that, we want to say thank you. And upon arising this morning, Father, you're our Savior. You're our Lord. You're our God. You had a roof over our head. You had clothes for our back, shoes for our feet, food for our table, Lord God. You had a home for us to live in, Father. Cars that you gave us that we could ride around in, oh God. And for that, Lord God, we just want to say thank you. We thank you for our families, Lord God, our children, our grandchildren. I thank you for my husband, Lord God. Thank you for my mother-in-law, Lord God. Every member of my family, Father, I just want to say thank you this morning. And each and every one of us that is praying along with me this morning is coming to you in thanksgiving this morning because you have blessed us so much, Lord God. Blessing after blessing keep on coming our way. And we're just so thankful. We thank you for the gift of gratitude that you have given us. Grateful to you. For at one time, we were not grateful about anything. But because we have been touched by the power of your Spirit, because our lives have been changed, Lord God, we thank you that we are grateful in all things, even in struggles, O oh Father. Because it is in the struggles, O oh God, that we discover our God. We discover how much you love us. We discover the fact, the promise that you said you would never leave us nor forsake us that you got us called in the palm of your hand. Oh, we're just so grateful to you today. We tell you that we love you. We tell you that we appreciate you. We tell you that there is no other God besides thee, for we have tasted and we have seen how good you are. We thank you for the year 2013. So many blessings after blessings came to us that we didn't even deserve. It overrun us overran us rather, and it overtook us and made us a grateful people. And for that, we want to say thank you. In the hard times, Lord God, we thank you for being there. For it is through the hard times that we discovered what kind of God that you are. So today, we're just so thankful to you for the year 2013. Many who are watching this morning, Lord, would maybe say that they have been through so much in the year 2013 that they look forward to the year 2014 being better. I pray, Lord God, that whatever they went through in the year 2013, that they gave you a report about everything that happened to them and that they asked you, Lord God, to be with them as they brought it to a close, looking unto you who is the author and the finisher of our faith. Give them courage, O oh Father. Give them strength, O oh God. 
Give them the God kind of wisdom that they need, Father, to be able to begin the year 2014 in prayer, in reverence of you, seeking you day and night, Father, going through your holy word and seeing for themselves and seeing for ourselves, Lord God, what it is that we have to do in order, Lord God, to keep on coming closer and closer to you. Because the book of James say, if we draw nigh to you, that you draw nigh to us. And we draw nigh to you through your word. So today, Lord, bless all who are watching this morning. Bless all who are being comforted this morning. Bless all, O oh Father, who may be discouraged this morning. And Father, encourage them with the same courage that you have given us. Thank you so much for loving us, Lord. Thank you so much for loving the listening audience, O oh Father, the watching audience, O oh God. And in the year 2014, help us to stay in your word. Guide our feet, O oh Father. Illuminate our minds, O oh God. Transform our speech, Lord God, to speak blessings at all times. We love you today. We appreciate you today. No other God besides thee. We pray for our president today, Lord God, our vice president, his family. And Father, everyone who makes laws in Washington, D.C. that we have to abide by. Watch over our Congress, O oh Father. Lead them and guide them by the power of your spirit. As we stand for our nation, O oh God, with a repentant heart, asking you to forgive us of all of our sins, our sins as a nation and our personal sins. Do not hold it, Lord God. Hold us accountable, Father, because of what Jesus has done on a cross of Calvary. For if you hold us accountable, then who can stand? So, Lord God, today, we believe in it by faith that you hear our cry, that you hear our call, and that, Father, you are answering it and believing by faith that the answer is on its way. For your word is yea and amen. We pray for those who are sick today, Lord God, those in the hospitals, those in the nursing homes, those who are sick at home, that you would heal sick bodies. There's nothing too hard for you. You can do all things. When Jesus walked this earth, miracle after miracle, Lord God, kept on coming to people's homes, people's lives. That same Jesus yesterday, today, and forever. And we are expecting miracles, Lord God, today. And I know that you are a miracle worker. So we want to thank you today. We pray for those, oh God, who are incarcerated, those who have been detained, Father. Visit them today, oh God. Let them know how much.